Hi Scrappers, Muriel here with some cards that I created I wanted to share with you. I had to make two birthday cards. One for my mother whose birthday is next week or the week after, the 7th of October. And then my girlfriend's father's birthday is next week and he's turning 76. So I wanted to kind of get these out the way in case next week I got too busy. I still will be able to deliver at least a birthday card if I'm unable to um, be with them on that day. So let me show you my mom's, uh, my, my friend's uh, father's card first. These are on the corrugated card, which you know I love, and I'm so grateful because um, one of my subbies sent me a stack of them, so thank you so much. But this card, um, I was inspired by one that I saw over on Pinterest. I believe that card was using the Graphic 45 Curtain Call papers, which I had just a die-cut sheet. And I think that's where this clown comes from. So cute. And that was the inspiration for the card. What I saw online and then I had this. So I kind of thought, well, let me just put something together. So uh, it's a five and a half by five and a half card. I'm just using some papers from, believe it or not, Old Curiosity Shop. And then the um, die cut sheet from a Curtain Call. Um, I did some layering here. Black card stock with some... Um, brown or cream paper and then again another black cardstock with this black and cream striped. I created this envelope in the background because I didn't have one that was black and it's similar to the ones that Graphic 45 came out with. Actually I used one, opened it up as a template and then created this envelope and on the inside I just stuck some tickets. Someone had gifted me these blue tickets. You know, I've seen these in the stores. I've seen them at Dollar Tree. So I just stuck two blue tickets inside. From the Pinterest page, there were something else and that were inside, which I didn't have, so I just improvised. I did a little cutout here of a fishtail banner that says, Enjoy the Show, and put a blue star there. Um, my girlfriend's father loves when I put the domin uh, put the um, bingo chips on the cards. So I did it for him this year, and it says 76. I put some sequins all over, and then I cut out a piece of the film strip from the um, cutout sheet, and then two of the film reels. Okay. And then I saw this from the Pinterest card. This is the Tim Holtz film strip, and it's twisted up and held down with two brads. I thought that was a great idea. And underneath it, I have a um, cutout that says, Happy Birthday to You, and that's from the Place and Time Collection of Graphic 45. Up here, I just used three types of uh, ribbon, some really thin black, some sparkly, and then some cream color along with the um, twine that I like to use and just tied it in a bow. Now on the inside I'm using another piece of the cutout of piano keys and I'm using a stamp set that I just recently purchased from a D-Stash and it says you can't turn back the clock but you can wind it up again and that's from Bonnie Pruden. So fun. And then three little sequins there. Okay so that's his card. Now the card I made for my mom I am using Graphic 45 Secret Garden. Last year, um, oh my, I couldn't think of the name, but I used a Graphic 45 paper pad um, for her as well. And I did the bingo chip and I had the wrong year. I had 89 on that card. So I thought I would leave off of putting a bingo chip on this card here. But again, it's on the corrugated card. And this I did a lot of layering. I have three of the designer papers that I layered here this beautiful flower print. I have peach and cream and then this blue on top. And I did some distressing. On top of that, I have a doily that I got from uh, Daiso. They sold these uh, small pack of doilies and they have some French uh, images and um, words on them. And then across the center of the card, you'll see in the background there is a peach strip here that I punched out with my um, scallop punch along the edge. This is one of the uh, pockets and tags um, from the uh, Secret Garden collection. Let's see here. Okay, they come in that strip there. And you can see I took that one from right here. Okay. 
And then I took a um, another piece of the pockets and tags and used my stamp postage stamp punch, right? And then cut out a piece here, stamped happy birthday, and then popped it up. And this is the lovely Prima um, bird, and it's all glittered with light, chunky glitter. Um, here's another um, cut out from the collection, and I'm, I used one of their um, keys to put on top. Now, the gorgeous leaves that you see here, these are from Pretties by Elise. Let me show them to you. And um, she has a shop on Etsy. So they look like this. I keep them in this um, container here. They're so, so beautiful. Okay, so they look like that. And you can see I'm like hoarding them. I only use them on special occasions. So those are the leaves. And then on top of the leaf, I have this blue and cream flower from Prima. Um, these open roses here are from Wild Orchid Craft, and I took them and sprayed them with some Lindy Stamp Gang Spray um, Cape Cod Coral from a D-Stash that I purchased about a month ago um, from one of my subbies from some, uh, for the Lindy Stamp Gang Spray, which I'm so, so happy because she had many colors that I didn't, so I was real satisfied with that. Um, so then you'll see some cherry blossoms here, um, some crochet flowers here. Now let me show you those because I picked those up. I ordered those from I Am Roses and uh, they come a hundred in a pack. Now these don't have the pearls on them. I think they sell them with pearls, but um, I don't have those. So I just took a pearl from my stash and put it on top of the crochet flower. They're so pretty. And then just another cutout here from the um, pockets and tags. Okay, and then the bling is from um, Paper Studio? Yeah, from Hobby Lobby. Okay, they call it gemstones, but it's just some bling, cream color bling. Okay, so that made up the front of the card, and then on the inside I just used again some of the uh, pockets and tags, the banner strips, and stamped it with a stamp that says time to celebrate. And that completed that card. So I really feel that I have done a lot this weekend. I got three birthday cards done. And I'm looking forward now to working on um, a swap that I'm in. I got about two weeks or maybe a week. And I'll go ahead and start working on that and um, get that in the mail. So thank you for watching, everyone. And do have a great day. Bye now.